What is up, DCS crew? It's Carlos back at it. And uh, yeah, fresh off the review for the um, Willemson Copenhagen uh, Chibs. Uh, I've been basically putting it to work ever since I did that review. Also, I haven't been uh, been keeping up the edge. And yeah, it officially needs to be uh, taken down, cleaned, and then later on sharpened. I mean, it's got a lot of gunk and stuff going on inside. And uh, before I send it to the next person, obviously I wanna put it uh, back to the condition that it was sent over to me, which was nice and razor sharp with the action ready to go. So that being the case, I have a couple of buddies here that are gonna help me go ahead and uh, take it apart, uh, clean it, you know, secure it back together, lube it and um, sharpen it back up. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. But in the meantime, I, I did want to go ahead and just kind of show off a little bit uh, the stuff that I'm going to use and uh, talk a little bit, bit about it once the intro pops off. And uh, yeah, then we'll get on to the video itself. So stay tuned so you can check out the players in the game and just what's inside the Willemson Copenhagen ch uh, Chibs uh, in D2 with the carbon fiber and titanium frame lock. Back to what I was saying before about uh, the, the the company that I am keeping right now with uh, putting together uh, this video that is basically a takedown uh, and uh, just a maintenance video on the uh, the Williamson Copenhagen Chibs D2. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty dirty. It's seen a little bit of action, you know. <laughs> it's seen a couple of boxes here and there, and it's seen uh, some work outside. I was, you know, carving some notches in, in, in the uh, the branches and some trees to be able to go ahead and hang some uh, bird feeders. I did some yard work uh, now that it's starting to warm up here. And, you know, being that um, a certain virus, which will, you know, uh, not be named, but um, it, it, it ends in 19. <laughs> now that that is keeping a lot of us in, in our homes, I figured, you know, what better than to be able to go ahead and start some projects and uh, put some of these knives to work, right? So um, before I start with the, uh, the detailed, uh, basically disassembly of this knife, I just wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, the surrounding parts here. And I guess I'll start from up here. Um, these are the Bondus, uh, Torx uh, bit drivers. Um, this set actually comes from Amazon shipped. Uh, it gives you anything, everything from T6 to T20. And um, the cool thing about these is uh, they are made in USA. They use uh, protanium high torque steel. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, pretty cool. I mean, they have these, these grips here to kind of uh, give you some nice, um, uh, I guess, grip when you are trying to go ahead and uh, remove the, uh, the, the, the torque screws on uh, anything, including uh, pocket knives. It's a really good price for this. Um, I forget, I think I paid like 15, 20 bucks for it. I might actually do a giveaway on these because not a lot of people know about them and they are actually really good high quality and they're made here in the US. So, I mean, how can you, you know, say no to something like that? Speaking of made in US, I have something that is not only made in the USA, but it is made here in Georgia. And these are from my guys over at Freedom Lube. Now, there is a, a, a needle, a precision needle oiler, and just a standard uh, oiler. And basically what this is, this is Freedom Lube. Uh, it's a universal metal lubricant and protectant. Um, they are based in Georgia. These people are super cool. They were kind enough to go ahead and send a sample out to me. And I'm gonna be using this uh, uh, to see how it goes. Uh, I think it's gonna be really, really good. Um, I've heard quite a lot about them. And if you are interested in checking out their stuff, um, I mean, it, it works pretty much in, you know, knives, firearms, you know, uh, it says here, small machines, door hinges, uh, uh, sewing machine lubricant, I mean, and so much more. So um, feel free to go ahead and check out their stuff. It's, uh, it's a great price and most importantly made in the USA at freedomlineproducts.com, okay? So we have that. Another made in the USA company is this little guy right here. And you're probably wondering, dude, that is freaking sweet. Well, yeah, 
Exactly, it is sweet. <laughs> and it is from Microstrop, okay? Now, um, normally he'd have a wood base, but he actually happened to make, use a 3D printer and he made these polymer bases. He used a nice adhesive to go ahead and stick uh, the leather on here and he has a nice little paracord knot on it. And it keeps a nice little profile, as you can see. Um, really badass and uh, what came with it was basically uh, bare leather and I've been using it quite a bit to see how it fares against some of my other um, strops. Um, I have a JRE Industries uh, strop bat which is a four-sided strop that has compound on three of the sides and then just one blank leather side and um, yeah, it's quite a bit bigger, so this is something that I can uh, basically take with me or maybe keep in a mobile kit, uh, and I, I really like it a lot. I've been using it, and I plan on using it on the chips, and I mean, great, great stuff. Check them out. It's, uh, if you look up Microstrop on uh, Instagram or even on uh, in Google, I think it's uh, Microstrop.com too, uh, you should be able to go ahead and check out their stuff. But be sure to go ahead and uh, subscribe to their Instagram channel because when these go online, they sell really freaking quick. I'm pretty sure that these are already sold out. So in any case, this will probably cost you less than I want to say 19 bucks delivered. This was like 16.95 plus delivery. I know I paid less than 20 bucks for this guy, so definitely worth it. Go ahead and check out that. Um, <clears throat> if you've been in any uh, doctor's uh, uh, offices recently, you'll probably uh, understand that this is an essential that they keep right before they apply any uh, syringe, well, any shots and stuff. This is a web called Alcohol Prep, uh, made here in the USA. It's a 70% isopropyl alcohol, and uh, yeah, it comes with, uh, it, it's two versions, it's a two-ply. And uh, I keep these because these are great for cleaning, you know, getting to the base metal of uh, a lot of the uh, the frame and the, uh, the the blade, as well as cleaning the bearings of any gunk or anything that might be uh, inside of them. So I like that a lot. Um, now onto this. These are adhesive. Uh, uh, elements that I use for the pivot and just any screws that need to be uh, set and forget about, you know? Um, there is the Loctite option and then there is the Permatex option. Now you're probably wondering which one is better. Now, the truth is people swear by Permatex and they swear by Loctite. But what a lot of people don't know is that they are actually the same company because Loctite actually purchased Permatex uh, not too long ago, or was it the other way around? In any case, they are both the same company. Um, I actually got this as a sample, uh, I think when purchasing a knife, uh, it was really cool. Um, it came in a little, I guess a little plastic packet and then you can just kind of take off this notch, use it and then place it back on. Um, Permatex, it, it, I actually picked this up at Walmart, but you can probably get this on Amazon. You can get either one on Amazon actually and they're very, very cheap. Um, definitely worth it. Now, uh, to kind of make things a little bit easier while I'm here, I figured I'd use some type of a CLP, something that's non-toxic, and uh, Breakthrough Clean out of Miami, Florida makes these quick wipes that are multi-purpose. Uh, they clean, they lubricate, and they protect. It's great for, you know, firearms, tools, automobiles, metal, which is, I mean, obviously we're working on that. Uh, a bunch of different stuff. And um, the great thing about it, it's 100% synthetic. Uh, it's non-toxic, it's odorless. And I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. It's great to kind of slip into your, you know, your pack with, you know, your Microstrop and, uh, you know, maybe one of these and you have yourself a pretty much a, a, a nice little uh, start to a maintenance kit. So uh, we're going to use this stuff and uh, get right to it. All right, ladies and gents, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I just wanna go ahead and let you know, I'm not big when it comes to talking as I'm as I'm working. I kinda like to focus because uh, this is a really easy way to cut yourself if you're just, you know, uh, not maintaining focus with all this. So uh, let me go ahead and take this down and um, then I'll go ahead and talk a little bit about it once it is uh, fully disassembled. Now, I do wanna mention uh, the, the the Torx bits I'm gonna be using. It's gonna be a T8 for the pivot and uh, right here at the base, uh, presuming what holds the, um, the backspacer in there and uh, T6 for the rest of the screws, including, I believe, uh, that might be a T8 uh, for the clip as well. So um, let me go ahead and get started and yeah, I'll go ahead and talk a little bit after it is done.
so uh, now that we have gone ahead and disassembled the knife, uh, I do want to make a, uh, a few quick, um, I guess a, a few quick comments about this. So um, it was pretty, pretty old inside and um, there, there is quite a bit of gunk uh, in there as you can see. Um, nice carbon fiber slab and uh, the, uh, the inserts are very nicely done. Uh, the machining is done really well. Um, it looks like the, um, the bearings are in a plastic cage and uh, they are steel bearings. Um, so that's gonna prove to be, you know, uh, something that's gonna last uh, quite some time. Uh, I really like the cutouts and everything here. I mean, it, everything looks to be very well done. Um, it, it just looks to be, um, I guess, I, I, I would be a little bit cliche if I said this, but I'm gonna go ahead and say, it looks to be a nice little well-oiled machine. So um, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna take the um, quick wipes and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe it down after I've uh, taken some of the alcohol preps and uh, gone ahead and cleaned all of this first. So uh, let me go ahead and work on that. I'm gonna do that off camera and then I am gonna go ahead and uh, come back to this. Alrighty guys, we got uh, most of the gunk out of the, uh, the blade and the internals uh, using some uh, alcohol wipes. And uh, a few things I did wanna say, um, these are, are plastic cages for the metal bearings. It does run on bearings. Um, as you can see, there is actually uh, D-shaped pivots for both the, um, the, the, the pivot on the knife and then right here at the bottom where I guess everything is held in place with that one uh, big screw, which is basically this one right here, okay? Um, there was a, a little bit of adhesive, but it looks to be some type of a black gunk uh, adhesive. I, I don't know what it is in, in particular, but uh, I've gone ahead and I've taken it off all of the uh, the knife itself. I'm gonna go ahead and replace that either with a little bit of thread locker or um, you know some Loctite. And um, now that everything has been cleaned off and it's sterile, it's broken down to the very, very uh, you know uh, base metal, I'm gonna go ahead and run through it with um, the quick wipes because of the fact that you know steel does rust. Um, D2 is a semi-stainless blade, which means that it can stain and it can rust and corrode. So I'm going to go ahead and use this on the blade itself and the internals to kind of give it, uh, you know, to, to clean it additionally, obviously, and uh, to lubricate it, you know, and provide some uh, protection. So um, it's going to help it resist a lot of the, um, the corrosion elements that you would see uh, using this on a day-to-day -day basis. And um, yeah, just keep it in really good condition um, for the next person that's going to be using this particular knife. Alrighty, so yeah, I've gone ahead and I've used the Breakthrough Clean and uh, lubed up and um, kind of put a nice little coating throughout the inside of uh, just the inner workings of the handle as well as the blade. And now comes the, uh, the, the knife oil that I got from Freedom Lube, okay? So uh, one thing I do want to point out here, okay? Um, if you notice that on the frame lock side, whoop, see if I can get that there. Okay, um, the pivot screw um, and the washer, the way that it's going to be set up is there's going to be a little bit of separation because what I want to do is I want to get a little bit of lube under here and then I want to go ahead and spread some on the actual pivot itself. So the good thing about this needle oiler this needle tip oil, excuse me, from uh, Freedom Lube, is that it allows me to be able to go ahead and use this to very, very easily apply just a little bit of lube on each side. Probably see there in the camera. I'd like to focus that in. Here we go. There we go. All right. So, gone ahead and I applied a little bit of lube. I'm gonna go ahead and set that back down, and then uh, run it around a little bit. Do a little little uh, loopy loop here. Make sure it got a little something, and then I'm gonna put some on the actual pivot itself. As you can see. And it's good to go. That's really all you need, folks. You just need one little dab and you're good to go. 
and you, oh yeah, by the way, that is a, 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 a D shape, excuse me, a D ring. And um, that allows it to be a somewhat free spinning. Um, it is situated at, I wanna say what, 4.35 o'clock. Uh, so just as an, a matter of preference, um, I, I did want to let you know that um, I'm, I am a little bit of a fan of that. Um, it just makes sure that everything is nice and lined up. Um, this one is actually set up at around, I want to say nine, nine o'clock. <laughs> so uh, there you go. So the top of the bottom, they do have uh, uh, D-shaped pivots. All right, I'm going to set this down. And then on the blade, there is a recessed area right there. And then what happens is um, the, uh, the bearing goes in there. And what you want to do is you want to lube uh, the inside of that as well to kind of get a little bit of lubricant uh, washed around in there. And then just a little bit on the outside just to make sure that the, uh, the bearings get uh, nice lubrication. You don't want to over lubricate, but you want to be able to put a nice... Uh, amount for it to be able to go ahead and travel on. And uh, you can also put some on um, <clears throat> just the, uh, the travel area for um, how the, uh, the knife travels, just to kind of give it a little bit more smoothness. So uh, that's what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put some lubricant and then I'm gonna go ahead and get started uh, with the, just the initial process of putting it back together. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and I've uh, attached the blade back on. Uh, both bearings are back on and um, everything is pretty much, you know, good to go to put back together. I did put just a dab of the uh, Freedom uh, Lube on the, uh, the, the detent so that it can run on the track and kind of lubricate it a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much good to go. This is a really cool little little setup, by the way, with the, uh, the needle tip uh, applicator and just a little pen so you can slip into your pack and it is good to go. So put that away here and let's get started with putting the rest of this back together. Uh, I'm gonna screw it back together and uh, just be done with it. Basically check the action, make sure everything is dialed in, make sure it's centered and then um, uh, yeah, the disassembly itself will be, I mean, the reassembly will be complete. Then after that goes to uh, sharpening and stropping using, uh, well, just my sharpener as well as the micro strop for honing right at the end. Alrighty guys, uh, there you have it. I've gone ahead and I've um, uh, put the knife back together. This is the Willemson Copenhagen uh, Chibs in D2. Um, yeah, so kind of an interesting uh, result as, 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 you know, after taking it down, cleaning everything to the bare metal, uh, you know, just putting a protecting uh, uh, wipe, I guess a, a, a layer over it with the multi-purpose quick wipes from uh, Breakthrough Clean. Uh, actually here, let me put the top here so you can actually see what it's from. And, um, Aside from that, using the, you know, the one inch, uh, the needle tip uh, precision applicator from uh, Freedom Lube, which you can pick up over at uh, uh, Freedom Lube, uh, uh, Freedom Line Products. Um, it also comes with the, uh, uh, just the, the larger dropper for either refilling this or for using on your firearms because you can use it on more than just knives. Um, I, I mean, I don't know if it's just maybe the sum of all of these parts or just the fact that, you know, this could have used a good cleaning from the beginning. Um, but guys, I have to tell you, the action on this knife is unfreaking real now. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put all of this to the side, okay? And I'm just gonna show this to you really quickly. Um, I don't wanna get too much uh, on it right now because I do have some of that breakthrough clean still on my hands. Um, but yeah, here, let me go ahead and just show you real quick. So. Boom, okay, so it comes out like normal, right? Let's see if I can uh, concentrate on that there. Okay, so there it is, that's the knife. Go ahead and show it off one more time, okay? Check out this action. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time so you can see what it is I'm doing. Taking my hand out of the way and it literally free drops. This is, 
Look at that. I can even open it using the, 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 the thumb hole. And I didn't, I couldn't even do that before. Guys, holy crap. The action on this knife is stellar and it's it's you know <laughs> it's perfectly centered there is no uh front to back or side to side um you know blade play i mean wow all right guys well there it is there you have it i'm pretty sure this is a first um this is the full disassembly uh cleaning and uh, uh assembly of the chibs uh d2 folder from Williamson, Copenhagen. Let me go ahead and see if I can go ahead and uh, get some uh, more detail on this. And there it is. So remember, uh, sometimes it's it's a matter of choosing the right materials, uh, you know, for the knife that you're working with. And and while a knife might have a really good action out of the factory, sometimes taking it apart, really cleaning it, putting your own you know little spit shine polish on it, and putting it back together can turn a good knife into a great knife. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sharpen it off camera and use a micro shop, bring it, uh, micro strop, excuse me, and bring it back to a nice hair popping edge and, uh, put it in, uh, the, uh, the mail to go ahead and send out to the next person. So, um, big shout out to the Apex Passroom, big shout out to Mikhail Williamson and Williamson Copenhagen, uh, for sending out the, 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 the whole line of, uh, Williamson Copenhagen products. Uh, be sure to go ahead and check them out and um, follow them on uh, uh, Instagram. And uh, yeah, this is the Chibs uh, in D2 from Williamson Copenhagen, guys. Man, that action is just crazy, dude. Look at that. That's crazy. This probably is the best action I have, ac <laughs> I have ever seen in a folding knife, guys. I, and I, I kid you not. So... Yeah, that being said, thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you EDC, think of DCS. I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, peace.